This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, visit LibriVox.org. Innocence Abroad by Mark Twain. Preface This book is a record of the life of the scientific expedition. It will have about it the gravity, the profundity, and that impressive incomprehensibility which are so proper to works of that kind.
my mom. He's at my mom. Marty. Oh, hey, princess. Hi, sir. Yeah, what the hell happened? Are you back at again? Oh, I was out of the golf course. And I was too under par. Oh, mom, I'm down here. Anyway, I'm starving. Let's eat. Come on, son, let's go. It's dinner time. Adam, watching this program. Dinner time. Your grandparents are here. Glasses on, huh? Yeah, I can only watch two shows at once. I wanted to watch two shows at once. Two sets next to me, but you were in trouble
Let's go.
know. I don't know. What is happening? Dad? What's the matter with you anyway? It's when it's you and Bob. and also some yeah. silver slugs worth a dollar each. The latter are exceedingly scarce, so much so that when poor ragged Arabs see one, they beg to be allowed to kiss it. They also have a small gold coin worth two dollars. And that reminds me of something. When Morocco is in a state of war, Arab couriers carry letters to the country and charge a liberal postage. Every now and then, they fall into the hands of marauding bands and get robbed. Therefore, worn by experience, as soon as they have collected two dollars worth of money, they exchange it for one of those little gold pieces, and when robbers come upon them, swallow it. The stratagem was good while it was unsuspected, but after that the marauders simply gave the sagacious United States mail an amenic and sat down to wait. The Emperor of Morocco is a soulless despot.